console input and output. Every program has three main phases. First, input data is given to the program. Second, the data is processed. Third, the data is output in some way to the user. The inputs and outputs are how we connect programs to the real world. Think of it like baking. The inputs are your ingredients. Mixing and stirring are the processing. Then the cake is your output. Examples of input are data typed by a keyboard, movements made by your mouse, data from the internet, and data from sensors. Examples of output are pixels on your screen, paper out of your printer, or the movement of a robotic arm. Computers take in data from users and put out results. In order to transform the inputs into the outputs, we write instructions as code. The instructions that we write are often stored in a program so that they can be reused. This is what programs or code really are. Now let's learn how to write a very simple program by learning two basic commands. The input command will let us get information from the user. The print command will let us report information to the user. Let us take a look at what these commands look like in our very first simple programs. The print function lets you write information to users. Printing is necessary because we cannot see inside the mind of the computer when a program runs. For now, the only thing we end up seeing is the result of whatever we print. Notice that there is some text between the parentheses. This is the text that is output to the user. You can try running this program to see the messages printed on the console. You can think of the console as like a messenger box for sending and receiving data to and from the computer. Every time you run this program, the exact same text will be written in the console by the computer. The input function lets you get information from users. Notice that once again there is text between parentheses, asking for their favorite color. That text will be shown as a prompt to the user in the console. The user will be able to type their answer and press enter. On the second line, we have used the print function to print out that same information. Without that print, this program would only ask the user for their color without ever reporting anything back at the end. While not a very big program, this is a demonstration of the input processing output workflow that every program will have. The goal of any program is to transform the inputted data into the desired outputs. For now, our programs will have simple inputs and simple outputs that work through the console. But eventually, we will create complex code that can achieve great things. For example, you could have the user speak into a microphone with their instructions translated into the movement of a robot, or have the user input recent weather data in order to create the output of future weather predictions.